of data observability with Monte Carlo. It not only encompasses the entire data stack, but it also caters to the tech industry, online marketplaces, financial services, and fintech. But Monte Carlo is also redefining how we approach data integrity. And to talk more about this, I am joined now by the co-founder and CEO, Bar Moses. Welcome to the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you so much. It's fun Absolutely. being here. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, so let's talk about integrity, exactly what your company does. Just elaborate on it. What was your mission behind it? Yeah, for sure. So I don't know if this ever happens to you where you look at a report or a dashboard and the numbers just look wrong. Mm -hmm. And you're like, WTF, what happened? Yeah. Why are the numbers wrong? You're trying to figure out what's happened and what's the reason, and you end up spending so much time and resources trying to understand why the data is wrong, but then also the decisions that you're making based on that data are also wrong. Mm -hmm. And so at Monte Carlo, our mission is to help um, accelerate the adoption of data by reducing what we call data downtime, which is periods of time when data is wrong or inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And the rationale for all of this is that there are data engineering teams, data analytics teams, product data teams that are all building data products. Mm -hmm. And they're building dashboards, reports, machine learning models, all of those feed off of data. And if that data is inaccurate, then everything downstream is actually inaccurate and wrong based on that data. Mm -hmm. And so Monte Carlo created a category called data observability. So the best way to think about us is just like any engineering team has something like App Dynamics or Datadog or New Relic to make sure that their applications are reliable. Mm -hmm. Monte Carlo helps data teams around the world make sure that the, their data and data products are reliable. The term data quality puzzle, that's an intriguing term. Tell me about it. What exactly does it mean and what is Monte Carlo's approach to solving something like this? Yeah, getting data quality right is the number one priority for every data leader and honestly for every company these days. And so in order to do that, there's actually some best practices that have been developed. And there's several reasons for why data can go wrong. It could be due to a change in data. It could be due to a change in the code that results in bad data and it could be due to change or a problem in the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And so strong data observability solutions actually combines all three of those together, mm -hmm. data, code, and infrastructure in order to provide a really, really strong solution mm -hmm. that's machine learning based, automated, end to end, meaning across your data stack, your tech stack, mm -hmm. and that works with different types of users. Mm -hmm. um, different parts of this puzzle are definitely strong technology solutions that includes all of those components that I mentioned, but also understanding how to operationalize trust. So really understanding the ownership for every part of the data tech stack, because data can break anywhere along the stack. It yeah. could be ingestion, transformation, processing, orchestration, BI, machine learning. So figuring out what broke where, mm -hmm. and then how do we also assign the ownership for who's triaging what yeah. and in what way, having really strong muscles around those is what drives strong data teams to deliver reliable data. Great, thank you so much for joining me today. Absolutely.